Today, guys, we are unboxing a big fish mystery box. There could be any fish in here. Fish that could go in my big saltwater pond, my mini saltwater ponds, my 55 gallon tank, or my nano tank. We're just gonna have to unbox it one by one to see what is inside. Now, before we jump right into the box, here's a quick word from our sponsor for today's video. If you fish guys and girls are looking for a way to become financially free, then Wealthfront is the app for you. Wealthfront is an amazing savings and investing app that actually pays you to keep your money with them. They just increased the APY on their cash account to 2% one of the highest in the game. And the best part is there are no overdraft fees, no account fees, and no hidden fees. And all you need is $1 to open up a Wealthfront account. Now, because I'm a long-term saver, I love the cash account. As it avoids the risk of loss that comes with investing or other alternative saving instruments, and it's FDIC insured through partner banks, so I know my money is safe. There's also unlimited free transfers between Wealthfront accounts and other banking and investment accounts. So this lets you invest your money easily with Wealthfront. So go ahead and click the link in my description or in the top of the comments that I have pinned there to get access to Wealthfront and take advantage of these coming opportunities now let's get back into the video. Now guys, the first package in this mystery box is this giant box of aquarium rock. Now I got an entire box of this stuff because this tank right here behind me is not acceptable. I don't like it. I need to rescape the whole thing, make it look actually good in here. So this is a pretty big box of rocks, like 50 pounds, and it comes with a bunch of different stuff. Really cool color of rock, pink, so nice and bright. I wanna brighten up this tank, make it a total reef aquarium. We can add a bunch of fish, bunch of corals maybe, and enemies, bunch of really cool stuff for you guys to see and come back to enjoy in my video. So not only are we getting fish today, but we're also getting a brand new rescape to add a bunch of fish to, I'm pumped about it. So I'm gonna be actually completely removing the rock in this tank and starting completely fresh. We can put those in the mini pond, but for this tank, I wanna do all the brand new rock that I just bought to make it look cohesive and look really cool. It's like really pink rock, it's not like purple. This is like a newer type of rock that I've first seen, so it's gonna look amazing in this tank. Now I do have some really cool fish in here right now. I have my brand new eel that I caught in the fish trap in here. I got the angler fish and a couple starfish. Those are the, those are the big highlights of the tank. You guys absolutely love those guys. I do have a couple more fish in here. I'm not gonna move them. I'm gonna leave them in the tank while we're doing this whole rescape, but they are absolutely awesome. And the anglerfish has tripled in size already. He's already giant. I'm trying something new that I've never done before. Wow, wow, I really, I'm just I'm just gonna see how I like this. I may change it up, but I, I've never had an aquarium that's just loaded with rock. Like, I still have extras here. Let's see how I like it when there's a ton of rock in here. We went from having literally two to having too many, but I'm gonna give it a shot because maybe we can get some cool corals and some other cool fish in here, and there's plenty of space for them to uh, hang out on the rocks and chill. So I'm gonna see how this goes, you know, when I'm sleeping at night, if I look over and I'm like, that's cool, or if I'm like, that's ugly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the rock structure or do you not like the rock? structure go comment down below yes or no now let's get into the next part of our mystery box so today we're gonna be working on this tank and maybe the nano tank you don't know maybe maybe we'll get some fish for the ponds but hopefully we get some fish for these couple tanks so we can start adding to them now let's uh let's unbox our first fish okay here we go with the first fish of the day this one looks pretty cool this is oh my god it's bright yellow that is one of the coolest fish i've ever seen that kind of looks like a freshwater fish i think this might be a goat fish and and uh, we're gonna put him in this tank actually because he's really cool we'll brighten up the tank instead of having so much red in there because I have literally red rocks red starfish red anglerfish a lot of red we need some yellow in this tank and he looks actually pretty cool so let's get this guy in this bucket here to see how he looks he's very very colorful very very cool check him out oh my god that is one cool fish are they poisonous because I'm about to grab him. look at this fish he's extremely cool bright yellow literally like the Sun literally straight up bright yellow and he's got some very long whiskers sticking out of his face that is very cool. So he can immediately get a very unique name. Might just call him Whiskers, dude. Whiskers the yellow goatfish. This is a very, very cool fish. Bright and yellow. He's going to brighten up this tank. Make it look much better because it's just straight up red right now. His colors absolutely pop. So let's go ahead and get him in the tank and see how he looks. Here we go, guys. Let's just get him in the tank. He's got spunk. You're going in your tank. Here we go. Look at this. Ready? Yes, sir. Look at that fish. That's insane. Hopefully he does well. I've never really had one of these before. So hopefully he does well in here. He's swimming around like crazy. Loving the new rock structure and he's gonna go hide up in these rocks and just enjoy his time in here this is a brand new rock structure so he's got he's got all the pickings in the world to choose a nice spot where he likes to hang out and hopefully he's gonna eat really good and feed very well that is one 
cool fish. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, I forgot to even mention this, I redid my whole room and I put all the tanks on this wall. So I'm gonna probably get some more tanks on this huge wall here so we got a lot more space to work with. It just brightens up the room, makes it look a lot better. And the nano tank, I actually got rid of a lot of things in there. The seahorses, I moved to a different tank. Oh, that tank will be making its debut very soon. I'm gonna be doing a strictly just seahorses, just pipefish, all that kind of cool stuff just in that tank. So we moved all of them to a different tank and now this nano tank here is open for anything very cool that we wanna put in there. Bagner Number two. Oh, this is a big, this is a nice anemone. That might be good for the nano tank. This is a nice anemone for the nano tank, guys. Oh my god, this thing is really cool. Look at that. That is really cool. He's got like green tips. That is a very, very cool anemone. That is almost perfect for the nano tank. Absolutely perfect. This guy's gonna look really cool in there. We already got some orange, some red, now some like pink and green. Whew, that thing's coming along. Oh my god, he's sticking to me. He's sticking to me. Oh my god, that's so weird. Look how weird that is. It's literally stuck to me. Look at that. It's stuck to me, guys. That is like an octopus, dude. Very, very cool. That's really, really cool. Holy cow, let's just get him in the tank. That is extremely weird looking. Very weird looking. Let's just get him right in the tank and hopefully he finds a nice spot to hang out. Where do you wanna go? Let's put him right on this rock here. Oh my God, he's really, really cool. Those green tips can really, you, you can really, he's still stuck to my, you can really see him in this lighting with those green tips. He's gonna love this little rock here. That is really cool. He's got that really cool colors, those those green tips on his little tentacles there. And hopefully when he gets bigger, we'll see more of that green. But we're starting to put some cool stuff in this tank. I wanna try to get some cool corals to brighten it up, make it neon green. That'd be really, really cool. But that's a very cool addition to the new nano tank. All right, guys, bag number three. What do we have here? Oh, yes, I do. What the heck is that? <gasps> You're kidding me. Another one of these? This is, oh my God, are we just an anglerfish channel at this point? This is the smallest anglerfish I've ever, look at this little guy. Oh my, Brooke, this is adorable. Oh my God, he's tiny. That's the smallest anglerfish I have ever seen in my life. He's, he's like as big as my fingernail. That is so crazy. We don't have a white and red one. We don't have a white one. This is a brand new angler. Okay, he's perfect for the nano tank. Thank, thank God I set up that other nano tank for my seahorses because I don't think that would have been a good mix with seahorses and anglerfish. He, he's perfect for the little nano tank. Like absolutely perfect. White and red. We've never had a white and red uh, anglerfish. Let's go, what a find. This is so cool. Guys, I have a penny here and we're gonna see just how small this dude is. A penny, let's see how he fits compared to a penny here. So let's pour him in here first and then we'll just see just how big he, oh my God, he's so small. That's the cutest anglerfish I've ever seen in my life, in my life. Oh my God, he's tiny, he's tiny. We're gonna have to name him Tiny. Look at the penny, look at that. Guys, look at this, he is so small. He's literally the same size as this penny right here. He is so tiny. What a freaking cool fish. We do not have a white and red anglerfish. I'm tempted to name him something from SpongeBob, but I don't think I can. This guy is so small, so unique. White, red with those orange tips. Extremely cool anglerfish. This might be our coolest one that we have currently. We need some epic names for this dude, so drop them in the comments. We might have to name him Abraham Lincoln because he is literally the size of a penny. His name might be Lincoln. That would be really cool. Let me know in the comments. Let's get this guy in his brand new nano tank. What an epic group of fish that we got today. Look at his little, look at his, oh my gosh. Look at his little horn. Look at his little horn. That's the coolest thing ever. That is wild. That is absolutely wild, guys. Let's get this little dude in the tank. That is so freaking cute. I'm just gonna gently move him down, down to the rocks. Oh my God, he's tiny. He's so small. He's so freaking small. That is Epic. Look at him cruise in the back of the tank. Literally the, the water, the current in this tank is drifting him into the back. Now he is super small in this tank. So I wonder what I'm gonna have to feed him. I'm probably gonna have to get some, I'm probably gonna have to go catch some ghost shrimp for this dude. Just scoop up a bunch of small ones and try to feed him. He's gonna be awesome to watch feed. I can't wait to watch him actually grow. I hope his colors stay as vibrant and bright as they are now because he is platinum white with that beautiful red. He looks extremely cool. Manager Brooks behind the camera. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her new channel, Manager Brooke. I'm gonna link it in the description. Go check out fishguy.shop. I'm rocking the fish guy tee today. Go check out the shop. We're doing some cool deals on the shirt, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Guys, change of pace today. We, we spent this video in the room with our new tanks. That is pretty freaking cool. I think they look good. Both of these guys are coming along. I wanted to take a break from the ponds and come in here because you guys haven't seen the tanks in a bit, but they are updated very nicely. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.